A new Wordle puzzle is online. Click on the link to play. Listening to the following video may give you clues. Please like and share the videos. Canadians at Rangers game thread rosters lines and how to read them. Canadians at Rangers. The Canadians and the New York Ranger are on opposite sides of the postseason race, but the two teams are not completely unrelated. While the Rangers are still winless, the Canadians are in their second straight losing skid. The Rangers are without Ryan Strom but have semi blies back after injury. In other words, the Rangers are trying to be the Canadians of this year. The goal for both teams is to finish above mediocrity and get to the postseason, so the Canadians need to be their opponents. Canadians schedule. Canadians vs Rangers game who will start? Which player will start in Montreal? Here is a look at the Canadians rosters. Read along to get a better idea of who will start and who will be scratched. Then, check out the rosters lines for game 6 and how to read them. This game will be broadcast on the MSG network, ESPN 98.7, and nationally on Esperth Canadians' top line, including Nick Suzuki, has been dominant lately. They've scored a lot of goals lately and have played well together. They'll have a great shot at scoring goals against Montreal's tired defense. This line is worth watching, as they can score in bunches. While it might be tough to read the line breakdowns for Toronto and Montreal, the Habs forwards are the best in the league. The Toronto Maple Leafs have been a disappointment in the playoffs, as they finished 23 points behind the Adams Division champion Boston Bruins. But they have a chance to pull off a victory and make it to the Stanley Cup final. The goaltender was praised by Schneider after the game, saying that he played with only one arm and did his best. That is a great sign. Whether you're a longtime Habs fan or new to the league, here are some tips to help you pick the best player. You may even want to check out the Canadians at Rangers game thread rosters lines and how to read them. You'll be happy you did. It's an exciting game. You're sure to find your favorite. The Canadians Injury Report Injuries to watch in tonight's Canadians at Rangers game. The Rangers have scratched five players including top goal scorer Chris Kreider, points leader Artemi Panarin, and goaltender Andre Markov. Meanwhile, Montreal has played without Ryan O'Byrne and Andre Markov. But the Canadians have three players to watch. Blaine Metropolite and Marc-Andre Bergeron returned to the lineup, and the team is missing Andrew Kopp and Adam Fox. The Rangers have been a bit relaxed lately and could use a road game. The Canadians, on the other hand, are looking to build on their seven-game winning streak. As for goaltending, Jack Martin has not yet decided on Carey Price as his starting goaltender. However, his backup Jaroslav Halak has been playing well and should be able to get the job done. Carey Price is also on the list of Canadians' injured players. He did not practice with his teammates on Tuesday, and did not dress for the team's game against the Boston Bruins on Sunday. However, he might play in Friday's final regular season game against the Florida Panthers. Regardless, Price's absence will put the Canadians at a disadvantage. The Rangers have a lot to play for, and they have several players who could potentially play a huge role in the game. The Canadians have several players who have potential to make big contributions, and the Rangers' first-round opponent, Washington, is not an easy one to face. There are a lot of injuries in this game, so it's worth paying close attention to every injury to the team. McCanadians rosters If you're like me, you've spent countless hours researching players' numbers and rosters, and now you're ready for the big game. But first, let's discuss some of the key players to watch in Canadians at Rangers game. The Rangers are in the final stretch of the regular season and are already locked into second place in the Metro Division. However, the Rangers' biggest concern now is keeping Chris Crater healthy. He's just two goals away from breaking Yaramir Yager's record for most goals in a season. Moreover, Andrew Kopp and Artemi Panarin were injured during Tuesday's game. Despite the recent injury to Daniel Sidon, the Rangers have plenty of veterans on their roster. Metrimpe is six height, which matches the height of John Ska from 2012 and Chris McAllister from 2004. The Rangers have also retained big Swedish veterans Nils Lundqvist and Patrick Namath. Jard Tinordi will be fighting for the seventh defenseman spot. Among the young players, Adam Huska is fighting for a job as Hartford's second goalie if Canadians and the Rangers are both winless in the regular season. 
However, the Rangers will welcome back Sammy Blaise after injury and will look to become this year's Canadians. Both teams are expected to be contenders for a postseason spot, but only one can advance. So, let's get to know which players should be in your Canadians Rangers game thread. Canadians vs Rangers history. Canadians vs Rangers is a historic rivalry, which dates back to 1917. The Rangers have won four out of five meetings during the playoffs, and have lost just once. The Canadians have swept the Rangers twice in 1967 and 1969, and in 1979. The Rangers have also won the Stanley Cup, but lost in the Eastern Conference Final. Fortunately for the Habs, the game was televised and there was a live audience, so no one was left home. The last time the Rangers beat Montreal, it was in 1991, when Patrick Waugh was a rookie. In Game 1, the Rangers goaltender was the Vizina winner, but Patrick Roy stopped 44 shots in overtime to give the Canadians a 4 3 win. The Rangers lost Game 2 as Patrick Roy had scored his first career tally. The Rangers were 1-2-0-3 in their last 24 visits to Montreal, and the Canadians had won three of the four games. The New York Rangers joined the league in 1926 and were part of the group known as the Original Six. In their inaugural season, the New York Rangers won the American Division. They repeated the feat in the following year, but then had to wait 50 years before they won another Stanley Cup. The Rangers lost twice to the Canadians, making history even more exciting. With so much history in their rivalry, the Rangers and Canadians are the most popular NHL teams in the world. As long as the Canadians win, the team will win. In this case, the Rangers should win all six games, which would give them the title. They will need to win the series to be crowned Stanley Cup champions. The Canadians have won eight of their last ten series. Nevertheless, the Canadians will be able to keep their streak intact. The first time in Canadians vs Rangers history, they have lost in five games. Canadians vs Rangers game thread. With Ryan Strom out due to the COVID protocol, the Canadians have a few question marks in their offensive core. They also lack a reliable backup goaltender in the absence of the injured Alex Touch. While the Rangers are without a clear cut star at center, they will be missing several pieces from their top line to keep this game competitive. While the New York Rangers did not draft first overall in the amateur draft since the Universal Draft, they did select Andre Velo with the first overall pick in 1965. In the 2020 NHL Draft, they selected the Canadian forward with the first pick. In exchange for the first overall pick, they acquired the 80th and 176th overall picks in the 2021 Draft. The Rangers were in desperate need of a goaltender. Guy Lafleur, once a Canadiens player, played one season with the New York Rangers in 1989. He played 19 games and only scored two goals. Mitchell Bergeron, the head coach of the Montreal Canadiens, urged him to play for the Rangers. Lafleur's contract with the Rangers in 1988 was conditional upon his performance at training camp. This modern-day equivalent is called a professional tryout. The 1993-94 season was the 68th season for the New York Rangers. They beat the Ottawa Senators 5 minutes 1 on Saturday. They also have a first-round pick in the 2020 NHL Draft, and that pick could be franchise winger Alexis Lafreniere.